All right, we have a 30-year-old female develop dyspnea in her 30s weeks of gestation. During ER state, ultrasound was done and showed left lower limb DVT. What are you going to do? What's your best management approach? Well, we have a young female who is pregnant in her 30 weeks, and she has a lower limb DVT. What anticoagulation you are going to use? Hell, are you going to start low molecular weight heparin and discontinue within 24 hours prior to delivery? Well, you are going to do VQ scan and then start low molecular weight heparin if the diagnosis of PE is confirmed, or you are going to start low molecular weight and discontinue three days prior to delivery, or obtain CTPE, which is CT angiogram, then start low molecular weight heparin if the diagnosis of PE is confirmed, or admit the patient and start IV unfractionated heparin, then discontinue 12 hours prior to delivery. What is the best answer? Well, the best answer is going to be start low molecular weight and discontinue 24 hours prior to delivery. Now, what is the message here? Number one, confirm DVT in the setting of suspected PE, then you treat as venous thromboembolism or DVT or PE. It's the same. It's the same treatment. What does that mean? It means if the patient presents with suspected PE and you do ultrasound for the lower limb and you confirm that this is DVT, then you treat as venous thromboembolism, the DVT or PE, whatever. It's the same spectrum, all right? Then in pregnancy, you use low molecular weight heparin. So we have two messages here. Number one, if you suspect PE and you confirm DVT, you treat, all right? In pregnancy, you use low molecular weight heparin. What's the approach? You stop the therapeutic anticoagulation 24 hours prior to delivery, and you stop prophylactic anticoagulation 12 hours prior to delivery. Biman. If the patient is not uh, is not diagnosed with DVT and she is on prophylactic anticoagulation, which is uh, could be a low molecular weight heparin once daily, right? All right. How do we give low molecular weight heparin as prophylaxis? We give it once daily. So the prophylactic low molecular weight heparin, you will stop it 12 hours prior to delivery. And the therapeutic low molecular weight heparin, you are going to stop it 24 hours prior to delivery. Therapeutic low molecular weight heparin is, is given twice daily subcutaneously. Uh, what's the dose? The dose is usually one milligram per kg BID, twice daily. All right. Now, meta, how and when do you resume the anticoagulation? You resume the anticoagulation six hours after vaginal delivery. And you resume anticoagulation 12 hours after the C-section because the C-section is more uh, uh, bloody surgery uh, or procedure, right? Then uh, that's why you have uh, to stop, oh, sorry, then you have to resume the anticoagulation later, which is 12 hours after compared to six hours in vaginal delivery. And of course, here are, here are the references. You can check them out. Thank you very much.